That was entertaining. Coach, looked like that, that game was following about the same script that just about all your games have followed, and you guys found a way at the end. Well, I was just proud that Marshall got the walk off in, in victory. He deserves that. I was really, I'm appreciative of the crowd. You know, for a team that's fallen on some hard times, it's a beautiful afternoon. Uh, spring is in the air, and I'm really appreciative of the fans who came out. And that's a direct correlation to their appreciation for Marshall and what he's done for us. And it was appropriate for him on senior day. It was a tough game, you know. Uh, I thought from, from jump, Vanderbilt's been struggling. That's been well documented. They got a close loss in their last outing against LSU. Rod Odom is an all-league player, and I'm sure he'll be acknowledged as such next week when that comes out. But he's really been struggling with his shooting, and we let him get going early, and then we got spread out. It seems like they were quicker to loose balls. Uh, again, we struggled on the glass. But we stayed around, we stayed around, we stayed around. We had a little spurt where we were able to get the lead, put some game pressure on them. Now, I thought defensively down the stretch we were outstanding. Just awareness of, of knowing who we can not allow to shoot it at the end. They end up having to walk on, taking a tough shot. So uh, I was proud of our grit down the stretch, our ability to make free throws. My boss told me despite us shooting 61%, we made our last six at the foul line, which was huge. And obviously it was a, a much-needed win to push us to 9-9 nine and, nine and, and kind of see where we fall now going into the it's going to be all about Marshall, of course, but Martavis gets the big offensive rebound, hits two free throws, a 59% shooter. I mean, just Martavis doing Martavis things. Like that. That's right. You know, and those are things that, that we saw some early, and then we lose him for three weeks, and he's really been helpful to us down the stretch because of his energy, because of his ability to come up with those loose balls. How much would you emphasize in getting the basket and drawing fouls? Well, I just knew that, you know, they've got three guys in, in Fuller, and then. Uh, Parker and an Odom, who are three of the top five guys in minutes in the league. Why? Because they obviously have depth issues. So we knew they were going to be a little tentative, which, which allows us to drive the ball. So we were really just trying to drive it in there. I think we were in the double bonus pretty early in the second half. You know, it's uncharacteristic. We, we struggled from the foul line in non-league play, and once we got into SEC play, we're, we're in the low 70s, a respectable number. We've really struggled the last couple of games. And, you know, sometimes as a coach, you know, you guys, me, we, we put, hey, this is a big win, it's a big game, it's a big game, and, you know, we forget that we've got inexperienced players at a number of positions, and it puts a little pressure on them, and so um, I was just proud that we found a way to gut it out. Andy, what cold was it <coughs> in any offense going when Jarvis was on the bench for foul trouble? Well, um, you know, he's our engine, and when he picks up his third, I don't want to take him out, but I have to take him out a little bit. You know, picked up two, and we're just trying to get through the half. We've gotten it back about even, so I thought we could buy a little time. It's hard because he initiates so much, and his decision-making is unlike anybody else's on our team. Marshall uh, was struggling with his shooting. We continue to have incredible misses close to the basket, agonizing, deflating, uh, but we continue to grind, and again, Second chance points, us having 13 big offensive rebounds and, and being able to take advantage of our depth by driving the ball was the key. And the fact we turned them over 17 times. Uh, to me, you know, we play a possessions game. We got 13 offensive rebounds, and, and we win the turnover margin by 12. That's the difference. Marshall changed his game. You talk about driving driving the ball. He did that a lot better. What did you think of uh, his ability to get to the rim and still make uh, important plays that way? Well, Vanderbilt's MO is to run guys off the three-point line if you look at them historically. Dejon Parker is, was doing a very good job of not getting screened and forcing Marshall into the action. So I just try to encourage him to, to take what the defense gives you. Had a couple of shots there at the end, which were Marshall-like, you know, tough leaners, lean back. Just didn't go for him tonight, but I'm thankful that we were still able to win. You got the SEC tournament coming up next week. What do you got to do that in order to win it again next week? We got to win four games in four days. No, it's going to be a, a, a huge chore. Uh, but now, you know, we could finish, I guess, anywhere from six to eight. I think that's my understanding. So we'll see who we play on Thursday night and just take it one day at a time. My hope is that, again, the sense of urgency will be there. You know, uh, nothing is guaranteed. The next game could be our last, uh, and we need to play with that sense of urgency. Is there anything to have to carry over from the last game being a win? I would hope so. It makes you feel a little better about yourself. I know that. You know, when we when we come in here, you know, going nine and nine in SEC play certainly is a lot better than eight and ten. Even though it's a one game swing, and you go five hundred in the league again. You've got an opportunity based on uh, some tiebreakers to finish in a situation where maybe you can put yourself in position to do something magical like we did last year.